how are you doing welcome to naya sim or sim naya and thank you all so much for all the love and support it will shower me here with so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a video that i came across and that video is very offensive in every every way and finding out that also candice owen and, and charles kirk was also in that video made it even worse a young black man said that uh, he is glad that he is of the plantation and i am asking which plantation are you talking about because you never experienced plantation the people that experience plantation can tell their story and you don't even want to know what they experience and you are out there screaming you are of the plantation like you knew what happened during the time people were in plantation it is so sad that most black conservative con yeah, conservatives all they want is just their pocket they do not think about you all they only want to fill their pocket for that time being but then i keep asking when you are filling your pocket how long uh, is that pocket gonna last because as soon as the election is all over uh, all over you all are back to square one you are suffering and just because you gained something that lasted for two days five days and you are going to suffer for how many years maybe four tenor eight uh yeah one tenor two tenors for eight years and i keep saying this you all stop being selfish let's get but i'm just saying i've been researching black lives matter and i've been understanding the politics and how they're funded by white liberals and recently i've been feeling like they're white liberals in blackface because right. they're, they're, they're white liberals in blackface and when i say that is because the white liberals is all about feminism lgbt white liberals don't really care about black people That's i correct. realize white liberals don't really care about me bro That's correct. i'm off the plantation bro i'm off the plantation bro i escaped the plantation bro i'm empowered they don't want me to have power they want to keep me dependent but i'm realizing this they put white like liberal Kanye. ideas lgbt women non-binary white feminism all that hillary clinton stuff put it in blackface because yeah. if we say it it's going to be too crazy yeah. so then black lives matter black lives matter it started by three lesbian women it started by three lesbian women. It's not really supporting black families. My question is, what do you think that has to say about the movement that they don't mention anything about but black cool fathers I'll tell, you, right? I'll tell you what it means. Right? Nothing so about off, black fathers. First off, first off, if I can just say, woo, another one off the plantation. They got, a, they got a problem. And this is how it starts, right? So this is how it starts. So what he said in the beginning is really interesting. Is he said, originally, I, I liked Black Lives Matter. Me too. Why would I be opposed to that? Um, black Lives Matter, right? Of course they matter. So you have to understand something about the left. They are incredibly good when it comes to linguistics. They use euphemisms, right? Planned Parenthood. Of course I want parenthood to be planned. Oh, by the way, we're actually killing 800 black babies every <laughs> single day. Eeks, you know? So this is what they do. They manipulate you by using a term that no person in their right mind would be against, right? Who would be against Planned Parenthood? Who, who would be against Black Lives Mattering? But the truth is when you do a deep dive and you start to look at the finances, you're exactly right. People that are in control, Black Lives Matter is a political arm of the Democratic Party. Call them what they are. And, the, and, and their idea is to keep black people, as you just mentioned, enslaved and dependent via their emotion and their anger, right? So what I would say to you first off is to encourage you to keep going and to keep doing a deep dive because that's how it started for me, right? It was one thing that didn't make sense. It was this constant narrative being shoved down my throat. But when I deep dived on these organizations and looked at who was funding them, it never really lined up to, to the things that would make the black community better. You mentioned that, they want to re that you realize that they don't promote straight black men, right? They never talk about the things that matter, black fathers in the home. That's because they don't want black fathers in the home. Make Bingo. no mistake. So congratulations to you. Keep digging. And can somebody at Turning Point USA get his uh, stuff so we can, we can hire him? <laughs> All right. Welcome to the revolution. I'm going to show you a video that was the catalyst for me loathing black conservatives. 
This was the very moment, the absolute pinpointed second. I had a fuck black conservatives moment. I'm going to show you the video. But I'm just saying I've been researching Black Lives Matter and I've been understanding the politics and how they're funded by white liberals. And recently I've been feeling like they're white liberals in blackface because right. they're, they're, they're white liberals in blackface. And when I say that is because the white liberals is all about feminism, LGBT. White liberals don't really care about black people. That's I correct. realize white liberals don't really care about me, bro. That's correct. I'm off the plantation, bro. I'm off the plantation, bro. That was the very moment I said, fuck Candace Owens as a staff record label and a motherfucking crew. Whoever that dude is, fuck him too. Twice in the forehead with stiff janks covered in fuck you saws until it pours out of his eyes. Fuck black conservatives as a whole. That right there was when I realized what a Cunesian truly was. That video. That was the one. That was the motherfucking one. It has been fuck them ever since. But you know what else that moment was? That was the moment I realized that politics is bullshit. American politics as it stands right now is bullshit. It is a series of incidences that are influenced by outside money, outside agitators, people who would like to see whatever the fuck we've been doing since the founding of the Republic end. Which is sad because since the founding of the Republic, this country has never lived up to any of the fucking words that they have ever said, whether it's on paper or out front. No president, no Congress, no nothing has ever lived up to the fucking true words that are put in that constitution. As flowery and as beautiful as they sound, we have never lived up to them. We haven't. Because our, our, our politics have been reduced to, to a level that dummies are still fucking it up. When you break down our politics to the point where it's bite-sized chunks and dumbasses still can't get it, you have failed. But that was the video, that one. I cannot remember where I saw it at, though. Can't remember. I can't even tell you when I saw it, but when I did, it was fuck black conservatives. I was able to delineate, I was able to separate conservatives who happen to be black from black conservatives. I started looking at people like Colin Powell, who I will always, I will always bring him up because he's the clearest example of what I'm talking about. In the entire time that Colin Powell was on the scene, in every capacity that he had been in before he died, he never said that. He never once said anything like that. I didn't even know the man was a Republican until they were trying to get him to run against Bill Clinton. And then when he did come out, he was, I'm a Republican. Okay. Even my father. Even my father, who will tell you his, his fucking politics are left of Gandhi, said if Colin Powell had ran for president, he would have voted for him. I realized Condoleezza Rice, even if I disagree with her, never said shit like that. Never. No plantation talk. Never. Not one time. I realized Michael Steele. Michael Steele. Never said that. Not one time. Never said anything like that. This shit offended me as a black man. The descendants of black men and women who were brought here to, to, to work and build the wealth of this country and never even so much as got what was due them, which is 40 acres and a mule. And for this fucking idiot, this bag of dumbass, to stand in front of a fucking microphone 
and say off the plantation, bro. I have never wanted to reach through any fucking device and fucking force choke the shit out of anybody more in my life. And that's when I started to see the Candace Owens's, the Jesse Lee Peterson's, the fucking Larry Elders, the Officer Tatum's. That's when I really started to look at them and go, fuck you. Fuck you. From my ancestors, fuck you. I remember I, when I first got on TikTok, I don't know who said it, but somebody said, these motherfuckers are the reason Harriet Tubman carried a pistol. Those are snitches. They would have been on the plantation talking to Massa. Master, they planning on leaving. Master, Master, they planning on leaving. My disgust for Candace Owens was magnified. I didn't even know who the fuck she was until that fucking idiot said that. He is the guy that can't even take the bite-sized chunks of American history. And it is people like him and Candace Owens and the rest of them goddamn Cunesian fucking uh, uh, welcome, uh, welcome package that are the reason just on this fucking application, I got to argue with fucking motherfuckers with neck beards trying to tell me about these mythical white slaves. If you're mad that I'm making the reverse roots and it's called stems, blame that idiot. Blame him. Don't blame me. Blame him. Because I wouldn't even be having these fucking conversations with you fucking knuckle dragging mouth breathing sons of bitches if it wasn't for that motherfucker right there. You revisionist history not even being able to read history as motherfuckers are mad at me for making fun of you when you should be mad at that idiot. Off the plantation, bro. I sincerely hope everything bad that could happen to a human being up uh, with the exception of death happens to him. I hope his tires flat every morning. I hope he bangs his fucking toes, all of them, all 10 of them, over and over repeatedly on every couch in his house. I hope his debit card gets stolen by a fucking pelican. I, I, I hope when he goes to the bank, he has to show 16 different types of ID, including open up his ass cheeks to show who the fuck he is. I Listen, I'm like that song. I'm just like that goddamn song. I wish nothing but the worst for you. Nothing. I, 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 I hope when you put on your hat, it's somebody else put it on before that, and now you have lice. I hope you get poop, uh, pubic uh, crotch, uh, cr uh, crabs. I do. I genuinely do. From not even from actual intercourse, from just walking around on some nasty sheets. I hope you get a bed bug in your booty, right in your hole. Wee! I hope you have pink eye from your dog laying on your fucking uh, uh, pillow, farting, and your eye just it just completely weeps all the fucking time. I hope one of your I hope one of the crowns in your teeth get cracked on a walnut. I hope your girlfriend only cooks fucking only makes potato salad with raisins in it and you can't stop the bitch cuz you told her once she thought it was cool. I hope you, I hope your brand new motherfucking shoes I, I hope you wear them one day step right into a fucking puddle that a dog just pissed in and a squirrel shit in. I, I hope all your fucking fingernails end up with hangnails. I wish nothing but the world filled with paper cuts for your stupid ass. I hope one of your nostrils close. I hope you get an ear infection that you can't get rid of. I wish you get, I hope for you to get a MRSA infection on your nuts. What's up, everyone? Coach D Speaks here. So Donald Trump posted this picture of Black Voices for Trump, and I thought this would be a good time for me to post this picture and talk about a lot of the problems that I have with Black conservatives today. First of all, Black people like myself, 
we recognize the issues that we have in our community. We do. Here's the difference between myself and black conservatives. While I teach, coach, train, mentor black people in the black community about the issues that we have, I do it to uplift the black community. Many, and when I say many, a high majority of black conservatives today, when they talk about the issues in the black community, they talk about them to white audiences for their own personal gain. If you go to the comments of your typical black conservatives video, what you will have in those comments are a lot of racist comments, basically making jokes and demeaning the black community. So again, I have no problem with black conservatives. I was on a podcast with a black conservative recently, but we shared the same feeling that we need to do things to uplift the black community. Like, we don't need to talk about the issues in the black community to white audiences for political expedience and personal gain. A lot of these black conservatives today do it for money. They do it for clout. They do it to be noticed by, cons by the conservative movement. Those of us who actually care, we're in the community doing things to uplift it. Period. So this is all I got from this video and um ooh, I don't know where to start from because some people directly or indirectly sit out and mock people that were in real plantations. Because if this young man experienced plantation, he wouldn't be here screaming, I am of the plantation. Which plantation is he of? Let me start by that. Which plantation exactly are we talking about? It is amazing how people come up on the internet to say whatever they feel like saying without even showing or digesting on it. Am I going to talk about Candice Owen? Of course, I'm not going to talk about her because we already know long before now that she has been a sellout. And I hope those Jewish people that supported her career leave and never come back. And I hope, I don't want to wish bad thing on her. Yeah, I just don't want to say more than this. But it, it's just amazing how you look at your own people and then you see that your own people are the sellouts. Are there other people, the Canadians, the ones that are selling you out? You see, I am not saying Please do not get me wrong because I remember sometimes when I talk about black conservatives and all that. Some are telling me what is wrong with that. See, let me tell you. You see that time that you stop having the interest of your own people. All you just want is to be selfish and put yourself all out all the time. Because all you want is just all about you. All you want is just your pocket. That time you are well, that time you start doing it, this, you are no longer talking about other people. All you want is just for yourself. You want your pocket full and all that. And you see them, they go extra miles to do what they are not supposed to do. You see some of them supporting Trump, and Trump is all there praising them. Not until one thing happens and everybody disappears. And there is no more Trump to talk to you. And you all are going from hand to hand. You all remember that black man that was indicted, that slept in prison for how long? Because he couldn't hire a lawyer that to uh, for his uh, camera, but he couldn't hire a lawyer. He was in prison for how long? Before they were every, uh, they were able to raise bond for him to come out. There are some people you all follow. You only, the money you are getting now, that is all you got. But aside from that, what happens in the long run? Because any money you are getting is just for the meantime. I don't know how long you want to spend that money. But you, you probably might get the money and use it straight up just for one day and that is all. And then you are going to suffer for how many years? Because you supported the wrong person. Brother is out there screaming, 
I am of the plantation. Like he experienced plantation. Like, the, like he knew what people that were in plantation experienced. Like he knew what life was all about in plantation. So sad. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.